know I think they like me. Yeah, am I white? No, 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 baby, so so much don't miss some fights. Hey guys welcome to a new video in today's video we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is count integers with even digit sum so in this question we're given an integer and we have to return the number of positive integers less than or equal to num whose digit sums are even here is the definition of digit sum which says a digit sum of a positive integer is the sum of all of its digits so we are given a limit 4 so you have to find all the numbers from 1 to 4 which satisfy this condition the numbers which satisfy this condition are 2 and 4 which are within the range because sum of all the digits in 2 is equal to an even number and sum of all the digits in 4 is also equal to an even number in this example the limit is 30 and there are 14 integers less than or equal to 30 whose digit sums are even numbers those 14 numbers are these and the value of num will be within 1 and 1000 so the maximum range will be 1000 so this is a fairly easy problem first we'll write a helper function which will return the digit sum since this will return the sum it is going to be an integer which is the return type i'm going to name it sum of digits and pass a integer n now let's create a variable sum which will store the sum of all the digits present in n so let's use a while loop to calculate the sum and this while loop will run until n is equal to 0 so until n becomes 0 this while loop will run let's start by extracting the digits from the last in n save it inside a variable digit and extract the last digit using the modulus operator now we have the last digit let us add it into sum and repeat the process again sum plus is equal to digit sum is initially 0 and now we keep adding the digit from the last now before starting the next iteration let us decrease the size of n by removing the last digit and now you have to continue until n becomes 0 and finally after the while loop ends you will get the sum inside this variable so you can return it so return sum now we have a helper function which will give us the sum of digits and we have the range so let's start the range from 1 until num so for n i is equal to 1 and i is less than or equal to num and in each iteration i will be incremented by 1 now we have to check if the sum of digits in i is an even number if let's call the helper function which we have written sum of digits of i is an even number so when you divide it by 2 you have to get a reminder of 0 if that is the case you increment the count so you increment a variable count first let's initialize that variable which is initially 0 And whenever this condition satisfies you increment the count and finally you can return this variable count which will be our result counting the number of integers within num whose digit sum is an even number now let's try to run the code by getting the expected output let's test for all the test cases it is accepted let's submit the solution there you have it our solution has been accepted so let's take this example we have a num called 4 and the output is 2 because the two numbers are 2 comma 4 so let's see how this program will work now num is having the value 4 so this for loop will run from 1 to 4 if you're calling the function sum of digits where i is equal to 1 so n is first 1 and the sum of the digits in 1 is equal to 1 so this will return 1 So one percent two is equal to zero. It won't return zero. It will return one. So count is still equal to zero. In the next iteration, i is equal to two. Now n is equal to two, and the sum of digits in two is equal to two. So this will return two. Two modulus two is equal to zero. So count will increment. So count is now equal to one. In the next iteration, i is equal to three. Sum of digits in three is equal to three. Three modulus two is not equal to zero. So count won't be incremented. Count is still one. In the next iteration, i is equal to four. Sum of digits of four is equal to four, so this will return four. Four modulus two, yes, it returns zero. So count will be incremented. So count is equal to two. Next iteration, i is equal to five, but this condition will fail, so it won't enter inside the for loop, and count will be returned as the output, which is having the value equal to two, will be returned as the output. Hence, two is the output which we are getting for this question. The time complexity for this approach is O of n, and the space complexity is O of one. That's it, guys. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.